guys, it's Crafty Music Lover here, and today I will be showing you the first few pages of the September 2020 entries in my One Page at a Time by Adam J. Kurtz. I decided to split this up into a few different parts because I noticed in my August 2020 videos that it was getting a little bit long, so I wanted to kind of help that out and shorten it down a little bit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the flip through. So starting with September 1st, I chose to draw a few bits of my day rather than just writing it down. I sketched out some little cartoon characters of myself and my sister's dog on a separate sheet of white printer paper and colored them in with my Winsor Newton Pro markers. I cut them out and glued them in, and then I decorated the background with some red and orange gelato pastels. On the next page, the prompt says, never forget, you are literally a giant tool, and remember that everyone else is too. So the first thing that came to my mind on this prompt specifically was a devotion that I had done a really long time ago about uh, having talents and Christians being tools in God's hands. So that's what I decided to base this uh, prompt from. And I wrote the entire devotion in with a pink paint pen and sketched the toolbox and the tools on a separate sheet of paper to go along with it. And I colored that in with my Winsor Newton Pro markers and then decorated the background in with a green gelato pastel. So the opposite page was basically just filled with a bunch of food themed stickers that I got from Michael's a little bit ago. And I decided to add some donut themed washi tape to the top and bottom of the page to bring it together and kind of add the food theme and make it a little bit cleaner, I guess. <laughs> I use some green and pink watercolor pencils for the background of the page this time. On the next page, it was basically the opposite of the previous prompt, but it's supposed to be a I don't care kind of page. Um, and I chose to do this as a emergency craft supplies page since I'd already kind of done a, you know, please go away type of page a couple of days before that. Again, I used stickers for the inside of the box and I colored in the box with a blue gelato pastel. And then I covered the white space with uh, this floral washi tape that I had a long time ago and wrote the words in with some red paint. This page over here on the right was technically supposed to be a page for postcards that you had to send to three other people, but I don't really have any friends who live far enough away for me to do this, so I used this page as sort of a scrapbook kind of page. I added some travel themed stickers and scrapbook paper to the page, and then based from a previous project, I had leftover postcard like ephemera pieces, so I added those to the page with some washi tape kind of based off of the gold theme. And then I dusted the page with a bit of brown chalk pastel, and I also added some reddish tan gelato to kind of make it look older and more worn down. So this page over here on the right you might recognize from my August entries, but since I already showed that page in detail, we're going to just skip that page and go over to the left side. So this page is for a best friend, so I included a note that my best friend had written to me before I moved away for college, and on the back side of that page I included a picture, one of the favorite pictures that I have of her, and her favorite color was blue, so I decided to use a dark blue gelato pastel for the book, for the background of the book, and I wrote a little bit about her in a note um, with a Sharpie pen. I'm not going to go into super big detail on this page specifically because 
it was kind of a personal page. I also included some religious washi tapes on the top and bottom of the page since uh, Faith was a really big part of her life and I wanted to make sure I included that. So moving on, this next spread is actually um, a couple of days after that other page, which is the 8th. So we're going to skip ahead a few pages to the 7th, which is coincidentally my birthday as well. So for the playlist, I wanted to include songs that I personally really liked and thought of when I thought of a birthday. Plus, um, I turned 22, so I obviously wanted to have the Taylor Swift 22 song on there. I added some party kind of themed stickers to the page and then lined the top and bottom of the page with some film themed washi tape to kind of tie in uh, the creative aspect of it. And then for the background I used a pink gelato pastel. Going back to the 8th, both pages basically said the same thing, so I combined them into a big spread um, and just used the 8th for both of those pages. The wording I used an orange paint pen, so you guys can read that and pause the video if you would like to. So I used a very light orange Winsor Newton Pro marker for the swirls in the background and then brown and yellow markers for the sunflowers. So this page I actually completed on a separate sheet of white paper and glued it into the book because I really wanted to use the teal Winsor Newton Pro marker for this background of the page, but they do tend to blend through quite significantly. On this page, um, it asks you where were you the other day, and so on the 21st of August, I did get a lot done, so I just decided to save you know, what I had done that day for this specific page. So I drew out uh, what I did on the 21st in little colored sections and I colored them all in with Winsor Newton Pro Markers and actually the whole page is done with Winsor Newton Pro Markers with the exception of the wording and the white highlights on the shoes. So I know that this year isn't over and the prompt technically tells you to do something based off of last year, but I really wanted to include the coronavirus somehow in my book so that when I look back on it I can't remember how much 2020 was an interesting year. So I wrote COVID-19 in a really thick black sharpie marker on a piece of floral scrapbook paper for the background and then on a separate sheet of paper I drew in this girl wearing like a spirit jersey and like short shorts and it's supposed to be me because um, that's pretty much what I wore when we were quarantined and I did the stripes on the spirit jersey with a pink thin pink washi tape. The girl on the page is colored in with Winsor Newton Pro markers and a little bit of pink colored pencil. So this next page is dated on the 17th of September, which is not um, obviously the correct date for the next page in chronological order. And I did this because I wanted September 11th to kind of be a special page. So for this prompt, you're supposed to carry out an act of kindness and only document the day that you did it. So I decided to use some of my illustrated faith ephemera pieces and some stickers to do this page with so I colored the background in with a pink gelato pastel and I added some silver polka dot washi tape on the top and bottom of the page to kind of tie it in together and then I added some floral stickers to the top and bottom of the page as well. So going back to the 12th, this prompt had a bunch of pre-drawn hearts and some of them had like little sayings or phrases on them. So I decided to just go with the phrases that were already put on the hearts and kind of make it look like a handful of conversation hearts. The hand I did with a tan or skin colored Tombow brush marker and various colored pencils for the hearts. 
for the rest of the page I covered in with some gold washi tape and if you can notice on the wrists of the hand I did mess up a little bit which is why there is this weird washi tape on the wrists. Once again, I skipped a few pages on the next day, and for this day specifically, the 13th, I went to go visit my mom and dad since they had some birthday and house gifts for me and my sister. Don't worry, you guys, uh, we were being very safe and we wore masks the whole time. I figured that for this day, um, it would fit the prompt perfectly, and I cut out the little sayings in and covered the rest of the page with this map kind of scrapbook paper. And then I added some travel themed washi tape to the top and bottom of the page as well. The wording and Olaf were drawn with various colors of paint pens. So going back to the 14th, the prompt told you to cover the page in pop-up ads. So on a separate piece of white paper, I drew on a few different pop-up ads and covered them in with Crayola Super Tip markers. And then the purple was colored in with a Winsor Newton Pro marker. I also, on a separate sheet of paper, um, drew in this girl in the corner, and she's supposed to be like freaking out because there's a ton of pop-up ads. And then for the like 3D ad, I used the kind of like accordion style paper chain and glued it to the bottom of the book and the top of the um, back of the page of the little pop-up ad. And finally, the last page in this flip through is another one of those spreads since the right hand side page had a prompt very similar to the one I had done a couple of days ago. So for the background of both of the pages, I just used some old Disney tissue paper that I had. And on the left side, I drew a little chibi of myself in a like Disney attire and colored it in with my Winsor Newton Pro markers. And I added some black and red Mickey heads using a decorative paper punch. I also added some 3D letter stickers to the bottom of the page and outlined it in a white paint pen. And then on the right side of the page, I just glued in a postcard that I got in 2019 from the Festival of the Arts at Epcot. So that is it for this first part of my September 2020 flip through. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below and let me know what you thought about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to be notified when I post another video and hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!